Here are some basic comma rules. Double check uh, your sentences to make sure that you're using your commas correctly. Here's a common use for a comma. After school, Gary studied for the test and took a practice exam. After school, this is a dependent clause. It can't stand by itself. This is an independent clause. It can, it can read like a sentence if it was by itself. Gary studied for the test and took a practice exam. Now, whenever you have a dependent clause, because this can't stand by itself, after school is not a sentence. Whenever you have a dependent clause in front of an indep independent clause, you want to use a comma. Here's another example. Sprinting around the track, Carrie felt that eventually she would take first place. Sprinting around the track is a dependent clause. Carrie felt that eventually she would take first place. That's an independent clause. We have a comma in between them. Take a look at this. What happens when we have two independent clauses? When we have two independent clauses, we have two complete sentences. We assume that the game was going to be canceled. That's an independent clause. It can stand by itself. The rain stopped before we arrived. This can stand by itself as a sentence. So when you take two independent clauses and you put them together, you want to use a comma conjunction. We assume that the game was going to be canceled. Comma conjunction. The rain stopped before we arrived. We assume that the game was going to be canceled, but the rain stopped before we arrived. You can also connect two independent clauses. We assume that the game was going to be canceled, the rain stopped before we arrived. These are two independent clauses. You can also connect them with a semicolon. Don't forget, you can also use commas with lists of things. He liked his pizza to be topped with pepperoni, comma, peppers, comma, and onions. You can also use, you also have to use commas with prepositional phrases or phrases that add more information, but not necessary information. Like this example, the large bus with the bright green paint came to a quick stop at the corner. All right. Notice. If I take with the bright green paint out, it's still a sentence. The large bus came to a quick stop at the corner. So this information is being added. It's not necessary. It's just adding some detail. So if that's the case, you want to put a comma 